In this video, I'm going to be discussing an introduction to electrophilic addition to conjugated dienes where 1, 2, and 1, 4 addition products are formed. This is the general reaction where HBr is added to the conjugated diene. For the first product, we have hydrogen bond into the first carbon and bromine bond into the second carbon. This is the, known as the 1, 2 addition product. Note that the pi bond is still where it originally was in the reagent. For the second product, we have hydrogen bond into the first carbon and bromine bond into the fourth carbon, and this is known as the 1, 4 addition product. Note here that the pi bond has now changed to be bonded between the two central carbons. Now we will look at the mechanism of this reaction. There are two steps. Step one is the addition of the electrophile to the pi bond. Here, the pi electrons deprotonate the hydrogen bromide, resulting in an allylic carbocation. The proton is bonded to the first carbon, and the positive charge is on the second carbon. Note that the pi bond is still between the third and fourth carbon. Here's a resonance structure where the proton is on the first carbon, the positive charge is on the fourth carbon, and the pi bond is in between the second and third carbons. The allylic carbocation is a common intermediate for diverging pathways in the second step. The second step is the nucleophilic attack of the bromide ion on the allylic carbocation. Here, a lone pair of electrons on the bromide anion can either attack the second carbon or the fourth carbon where a positive charge is located. If it attacks the second carbon, it will result in the 1-2 addition product, where hydrogen is bonded to the first carbon, bromine is bonded to the second carbon, and the pi bond is located in between the third and fourth carbon. Alternatively, if it chooses to attack the fourth carbon where the positive charge is located, it will, attack an, it will result in the 1-4 addition product, where hydrogen is located on the first carbon, bromine is on the fourth carbon, and the pi bond is in between the second and third carbons. Now let's look at the reaction coordinate diagram. Here's the starting material leading to the allylic carbocation, which is a common intermediate en route to the kinetic and thermodynamic product. From the common intermediate, the free energy of activation of the transition state leading to the kinetic product is lower. Therefore, the kinetic product forms faster. The free energy of activation of the transition state leading to the thermodynamic product is higher. Therefore, the thermodynamic product is formed slower. Note that the thermodynamic product is lower in energy. Therefore, it is more stable. The kinetic product is higher in energy. Therefore, it is less stable. Now I'm going to explain why the kinetic product is formed faster. One factor is the proximity effect. The kinetic product is formed faster in part because the bromide ion is located close to the partial positive charge on the second carbon after the hydrogen bromide protonation. Therefore, the free energy of activation required for the bromide ion to bond at the second carbon is less. Now I'm going to explain the second factor influencing why the kinetic product is formed faster, which is the charge distribution effect. The allylic carbocation intermediate has a greater partial positive charge on the second carbon than the fourth carbon. Thus, the bromide ion has a greater attraction to the second carbon. Both the proximity and charge distribution effect explain why the transition state leading to the kinetic product is lower in energy. Therefore, the kinetic product is formed faster. Let's look at why the 1-4 addition product is more stable than the 1-2 addition product. The 1-4 addition product is more stable than the 1-2 addition product because the 1-4 addition product has two alkyl groups bonded to the carbon-carbon double bond, whereas the 1-2 addition product only has one alkyl group bonded to the carbon-carbon double bond. Since the more substituted alkene is generally the most stable, the 1-4 addition product is the more stable product. An important aspect of this reaction is that the product distribution is a function of temperature. At low enough temperature, the reaction is actually irreversible. As such, the form product ratio is locked in, and since the 1-2 product is formed faster, it is the major product. In contrast, at high enough temperature, the reaction is reversible. Therefore, both the formed 1-2 and 1-4 addition products can revert back to the common intermediate. Ultimately, it results in the greater accumulation of the more stable product which is the thermodynamic product. 
Let's look at an example that illustrates that this reaction is not just limited to the addition of hydrogen halides across a conjugated diene. Here, a bromine molecule will be added across a conjugated diene. If the pi electrons attack a bromine atom in the bromine molecule, it will result in the, in the allylic carbocation common intermediate. Depending on whether the bromine anion attacks the second or fourth carbon determines whether the 1-2 addition product is formed or the 1-4 addition product is formed. In conclusion, the 1-2 addition product is the kinetic product. It is the major product at lower temperatures. In contrast, the 1-4 addition product is the thermodynamic product and it is the major product at higher temperatures.